Namaste, my beautiful beings of light. Thank you for tuning into my channel. My name is Jeanette and I am a spiritual being going through this spiritual awakening, ascension, transformation. I'm purging, I'm clearing out karma. I am ascending and uh, it being initiated to higher level of vibrations. I am doing the work that I need to do in order to release myself from all things that are not for my highest good and I'm sharing it with you and uh, it's been a, an experience. It's been a blessing and it also has shown me uh, so much things that I needed to change within myself. It showed me um, the true being that I truly am. And I just want to say sorry. Thank you for tuning into my channel. And for the new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Press the bell button and like if you like the context. It does help my channel and uh, I appreciate everything. Um, I appreciate you all for just taking the time to maybe just peep in and just peep out and, and just tune into my channel. And I thank you. I'm very humble and very thankful um, that I do have this place that I am able to share the wisdom and the knowledge that I continuously get from my divine father who is continuously to teach me all the things that I needed to, to change about myself, to change within, to look at who I am and make those proper changes to release myself from the cycle that I kept going on. It's just a cycle that we keep going on and keep going on. And I am getting off that cycle. Those cycles are closing. It's a lot of work. And I'm going to tell you, they're painful. Very painful. Because you have to go back. You have to go back to childhood. You got to go back to, to everything that has shaped you to the person that you you were before being enlightened and you have to go back and change all those behaviors change all those patterns and make them clean again just wipe those patterns out and it, it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of going within and you have to do this journey alone. It cannot be done on your own. And let me tell you, there is light. There is light. There is light. There is there is a beautiful light within us. No light outside. The light is within us. And we have to bring that light forward in order to become better better loving, loving understanding and just peaceful beings rather than the beings of anger, of resentment, of, of all this karmic, karmic uh, relationships, all these energies exchanging, negative energies being exchanged, even sexually. Even sexually, you are you have to really um, clean out all those sexual energies that you have ties with in order to bring light into your system. Yeah, it's um, we are entangled with so much energy around us that uh, we have no idea unless 
you really do this work on your own and uh, seek God within and seek the angels and seek the the your ancestors and see because everything you'll be guided to do all this um, it just once you once you have awakened everything will 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 manifest for you in order to um, clear out all these blockages within your energy field and it's quantum because it's like you are in a bubble and you have all these energies it's like you're in your own little world your own little space where you have so much of these energies attached to you and a lot of them are not for your highest good and i am just so glad that i have worked with people who have um, helped me clear out many of these energies that were not for my highest good um, which people may not find uh, very uh, they may not find it appealing or how you say it maybe scary for them to have somebody come into your energy field and, and do a scan and see what is needs to be released and to what where do you need your the work. And a lot of the times it comes from your 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 root chakra and uh, your heart, your root and your, also your, your solar plex and your sacral, the lower density. So those are the lower density shock chakras. And then you get to the heart. The heart is where everything, this is where everything is, uh, lights up. But if the heart chakra is closed, then you're going to have a difficult time to release a lot because you're still holding on to a lot of attachments that you no longer need. Um, basically, that means systems, relationships that you have, that you have uh, not healthy relationships with and holding on or relationships that you believe is your soulmate, but they truly are not. They're just there as karmic relationships and to teach you lessons. And um, um, I found out I have a twin flame and I am hoping I, I have very high, high expectations. Everything will work in divine timing because everybody has their own time in where they need to work on their own spirituality journey if they are doing it. If the person is doing their spirituality work, they will be enlightened. And uh, when you're vibrating at a high vibration and you're the twin flame is doing it at a low vibration, that relationship cannot be because there are things within their energy field that cannot come into the high vibrational uh, being because uh, the level is just going to be not healthy, it's like uh, unhealthy relationships. <laughs> That's why you have to clean out your, your energies to come into union with your twin flame in order to continue to build a very high uh, vibrational relationship, success in your relationships, and whatever manifestations you want to build with your twin flame, it will happen and it is all guided by the creator and the divine beings of light uh, and spirit and the ancestors and 
Yeah, it's just very interesting how this whole spiritual journey has taught me so much about the world, the planet, how it works. Also, it has taught me about a lot about the energies, about the chakras, about the relationships that uh, the karmic. There's a lot of karmic relationships. There's um, some soul soul families that I still haven't met yet, but I will be meeting. And it all has to do with timing. It all has to do with divine timing. Everything happens. Everything is like step by step. It's like putting puzzle, putting a puzzle, a big puzzle, because this has been a big puzzle into its place and just making sure those puzzle pieces are in their right places and uh, I'm working on self so I am a puzzle so I'm working on myself and my puzzle is coming to light and it's going to become lighter and lighter and lighter and sometimes many times we cannot be uh, we have to go into solitudes to work on self and I love solitudes and I love, uh, and sometimes we have to branch out. We have to try new things and just, uh, just go with the flow. But it's been a blessing. It's been such a, a learning experience and I, there's more to this journey and it continues and health has plays a major role because if you're, uh, eating dense food, then you're, 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 you're not, bringing in the light either and within your system you have to eat light foods like i'm eating my raw foods i just been on raw foods and uh the chips that i show you guys that i was eating i can't even eat that anymore <laughs> it's just more water and raw foods and vegetables you know and and, and and fruits and i can't even have coffee <laughs> no coffee um the yogurt it has to be it has to be a fruit yogurt like little fruits fruit not preserves not in the in the jars none of that it has to be like natural natural fruits so yeah that is what i have for you today and uh lots of downloads are coming my psychic abilities are empowering that they're very open uh my healing i'm a healer um there was a lady i was meditating the other day in central park and um she saw when i was sitting by the tree she just passed by me she was like oh my god i felt your i felt your energy is so peaceful it's so loving it's so it's so it's so she couldn't even speak and i was just so blessed and thankful and i acknowledge her for confirming to me that i basically i am even as i'm outside people are healed by my presence they feel calm it, they feel at peace they feel the energy so and that makes me feel feel like I'm doing something I am doing something within me and then bringing it out to humanity which is a blessing even children sit next to me when I'm sitting in the park they just sit there as I'm meditating they just they just sit there it's just so beautiful how they're just and the animals the, the birds just come because I feed the birds all the time and uh, it's just a blessing knowing that I'm doing the work for humanity and I thank you all for tuning into my channel and this is my message for today love yourself let go of your always go within go within and find the creator within you and you'll be so blessed to know that you are a divine being I am a divine being too Namaste.